Alrighty, hello guys and welcome to our very first episode with Air Hauler 2. And uh, we're flying out of Juneau, Alaska. So Juneau is looking beautiful out here. And uh, we have purchased our very first aircraft. It's this lovely Twin Otter. I just went and got my type rating in it. So we are ready to go, ready to fly this aircraft out here in the tundra. Uh, so from Juno here, we're actually going to be taking uh, some frozen turkeys, about 2,640 pounds of frozen turkeys, uh, down to uh, Papa Alpha Whiskey Golf. So I don't know what the name of that airport is, but I guess we'll figure that out here uh, as we load everything up. So while we're here, let's kind of add everything in. The fuel load that we have put on, uh, which I can bring up here as well. Uh, let's do this one. There we go. Fuel loading that we have, um, I'm going to add about 1,358 pounds. We started with 875 pounds. It's not going to match up here, uh, but we're going to make it match here. So that way we have the actual cost there too uh, in the bottom right side. Uh, so yeah, so we'll load it up and we'll get her going here. So we'll say 167 and uh, now we match it up perfectly with what we have here. Okay, what we also need to do now is I need to remove our co-pilot because we don't really need the co-pilot. Uh, so co-pilot's gone. Cargo though, so currently payload we have 1685 we need 2640 on board so I think the best way to do it would just be go down here and uh, we will make all of these zeros you're gonna see the airplane probably move as we keep doing this make all these zeros and now we need to equal 2640 so 2640 uh, it says payload max payload says we already have 340 pounds, so we're going to overload this thing a little bit, and uh, that way we can fit everything on here. So 2640, so we'll say 400 pounds here, and that'll be close enough uh, for government work. So here we go. So we have 400 pounds, and all that looks good now. Now, yes, we are a little bit overweight, and that's okay. So here's our lovely cargo inside of our aircraft. Pretty neat. <clears throat> and all of our doors do work as well. Ah, I get some of that air in here. I like it. Alrighty, so what we'll do here is uh, we'll head back up to the front. And let's actually run through some checklists. Let's get us going. Okay. So let's do some checklists here. Control locks, we we got to make sure we take that out. We can't go flying with that. Uh, parking brake, we want to set it. Parking brake is set. Emergency fuel switches go to normal. Uh, emergency fuel switches, are these them? Let's take a look. Nope. Nope. They're down here. Emergency fuel switches are normal. Fuel selector should be normal, and it is. Fuel boost pumps are off. They are. Cabin light and signs set. So, cabin lights and signs. We don't have anybody on board. Uh, so, let's take a look. I see the lighting panel up there. Bright, fast, and seatbelts. Yeah, no smoking back there for our cargo. And no seat, and make sure we put our seatbelts on, too. Position light. We'll make sure that those are on. Position light is on. Pedo heat is off currently. Generators are off. Flaps are up. Flaps are right here. They are up. Fuel levers are off. Fuel levers are off. Propellers are full forward. They are not. Let's go ahead and let's drag those to full forward. Yeah, cool. Propeller levers. Flight idle. 10%. So we'll move it about there. That looks like 10% to me. And then ignitions to normal. So our ignitions over here. Uh, ignition normal. I'm assuming that's the igniter. And they're both, yeah, I mean, I'd say they're normal. Oh, ignition mode. Okay, here we go. So ignition mode goes to normal. That's what this is probably talking about versus manual. DC source and master. We got to turn that on. So DC source, battery, and master are on. That's cool. We like the sound. 
All right, and all of our lights turned on too. We got a bunch of enunciators that appeared, so all that looks good. Fuel quantity check, 25% minimum. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of fuel, and we are definitely overweight, so we'll see how this thing flies overweight. Maybe it won't. Uh, forward fuel boost pump on. So forward fuel boost pump, if I remember correctly, is down here. Okay, it's on. Starter engage on the right side. Let's give her a start here. Oops, there we go. Engine starter. Ignition one on both. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, so we have our ignition on. Uh, we want to check and make sure that oil pressure is rising. So, right side oil pressure is rising. Right NG stabilize at 14%. Uh, I mean, it's higher than 14%, but that's okay. Uh, and then it says that we want to start adding in the fuel. Here's our fuel. Oh, yeah. That's cool. All right, let's walk back here and let's uh, get rid of or close our door. We'll get rid of some of that noise. Alrighty, you stay right there. Got a bunch of frozen turkeys we gotta deliver. Okay, so starter was centered, it is centered. Uh, and then we turn the aft fuel boost pump on. It's on. And starter engage on the left. So clear on the left, clear prop. Ah, uh, I love the PT-6 engine. She's starting up there. Let's go ahead and let's uh, introduce some fuel here. Once we get to 14%, oil pressure's rising. Temperature stabilized, there's 14%. There's some fuel, and now we're watching our parameters. Oil pressure's going up here in the green. We don't want it up in the red. Everything else is rolling properly. All right, we're looking good. So from there, our starter is in the center. And we can do our after start checklist. So after start checklist, power levers idle, 15%. Eh, we're pretty close to that, I'd say. Generators on, lights out. So gens, we, don't, we do have left generator, right generator, so we gotta turn those on. So let's go ahead. Let's turn both those on. Lights are out. Edge instruments within limits. All of our engine instruments here are within limits. Compass and gyro set. So compass looks good. Looks like we're reading about uh, 340 on the heading. And our gyro here matches about 340 on the heading. So that looks good. Caution lights are appropriate. I'd say so. Pneumatic low pressure. That's because we have low engine pressure. We are heading here to PAWG. We're just going direct. Uh, we are going up to uh, 12,000. So we're not really talking with anybody. We're up here in Alaska right now. Uh, eventually we might actually talk to somebody. We might get on VATSIM and make it fun here. Uh, 12,000 feet. We'll put that in. Then vertical speed. We'll play with that in a little bit here. Let's turn this on. We'll squawk 1,200 for now. 12,000 feet set in there. Looks good. Altimeters and clocks are set. So current altimeter, uh, 3014. Anti-collision and position lights are going on. So anti-collision and po position lights here are all on. Okay. Looks good to me. Okay, taxi checks. So we'll taxi on out of here. Check our brakes and we'll get rolling. So unfortunately it looks like they have us here uh, next to our gas pump. So uh, so we'll make sure that we get pushed back here. All right, so they've pushed us back here, which was excellent. And now what we'll do is we will taxi on out. Give it just a little bit of thrust here. Is 
And there's our lovely bird as we're taxing out. It's very pretty. Okay, so on our taxi checklist here, we need to make sure that our brakes are checked and our gyros are turning. So currently here looks like all of our gyros are working. We got blue over brown uh, and our heading is turning and everything else looking good. Our brakes are checked here. The wind looks like it's favoring, uh, I think it's runway eight down here. So uh, we will depart off of runway eight. It'll be nice to eventually upgrade our aircraft, but you know, this one was cheap and it carries a lot of cargo. And we're in Alaska. So being able to purchase this aircraft first was actually pretty nice. I think I'd like to eventually get like a 777, you know, like a 747, something like that. Do longer haul flights, make lots of money. We can also hire people too. That's what I really enjoy about uh, this Air Hauler 2 mod that I downloaded. All right, now while all this stuff's going on, let's take a look at our run-up checks. So our run-up, uh, what we'll do here is we'll set our parking brake, auto feather, anti-ice, and the autopilot will check as well. There's Alaska. That's cool. And they added the new helicopters in. So, just have the new update here. Looks like somebody's going to go flying. That's pretty neat. It is runway 8. And uh, we probably don't even need to use the full length. I mean, we are in a twin otter. This thing, this thing has some short field performance, that's for sure. We will knock in uh, 10 degrees of flaps here. So, the first notch of flaps. It does have a nice turning tendency. All right, so we'll ease up on the brakes here a little bit. I could have probably feathered the props, but you know why put on that extra wear and tear? All right, so let's go ahead and let's do our run-up checklist. So we'll pull this parking brake out and let's pull out the checklist. So run-up checklist, parking brake is set, auto feather armed. Auto feather is armed. Anti ice as required. Ah, I don't think we need it right now. We'll wait until we get up into the uh, into the clouds. And then autopilot checked. Let's go ahead and let's turn her on. Okay. There we go. Now let's give it a shot. All right, we're having problems with our autopilot already. Let's give this a shot. Hmm. Well, we'll take a look at that as we go along here. Our nav should probably be armed. So nav is armed. We're going to be trying to couple it up with our GPS. Flag is gone. We've got it all coupled up. So that looks good. So autopilot, we'll say it's checked. I'm not too happy with it. I know I was having problems with uh, the autopilot in this aircraft before, but if we have to hand fly it, we have to hand fly it. All right, fuel quantity checked, 25% minimum. Oh, yeah. So we're like 75% full. Fuel boost pumps on. They are both on. Rudder trim tabs, sec, uh, 10 degrees for takeoff. There we go. Flight instruments. We'll check our instruments here. So all of our flight instruments are looking pretty good. No changes. Uh, nav comms and radios are set. Uh, yeah, they're set because we're not going to talk to anybody today. Propeller levers, full forward. They are full forward. Auto feather select. It is selected. Flaps takeoff set. They are set for 10. Engine instruments within limits. They are within the limits. Pedo heat needs to be on. Pedo heat's on. Anti ice as required. We're going to leave all those off. Flight controls. Uh, free with full travel. Let's take a look. Looks like full travel to me. 
transponder is on and landing lights will turn those on as well here's our landing lights caution lights appropriate just the pneumatic low press that's good and then runway heading checked uh, it's going to be 080 so let's go ahead and let's spin our heading bug to a heading of 080 to kind of match our runway heading so there's 070 080 and I'll go heading mode so this should actually give us something okay there's 12,000 and then uh, from there we do the climb checklist so we're all set to go here alrighty it looks like uh, final is clear and the runway should be clear because we're landing in, uh, in this direction so we'll pull out here and we'll double check of course we'd make our call too and we'd get clearance runway is clear as well we're going to be flying right into all that stuff there, so we're definitely going to need our icing on, our de-icing on. All right, runway 8 is verified. It's confirmed. There's runway 8. Let's go. There's our left turning tendencies so I'll give it some right rudder and here's our rotation speed a little bit of a lag spike there here's our rotation speed beautiful all right so we got a positive rate we're climbing past about 400 once we pass about 400 feet we'll bring our flaps up and then we'll proceed on course from there Nav will have to DTO us here in a second. All right, flaps are coming up. Then thrust, we're going to pull back to kind of a climb setting here. Let's get below the uh, the red lines. Good. All righty. We'll keep trimming it out here. We know we have to go south. So uh, let's make sure that we go direct to... Let's see if we can put ourselves in a heading mode here. So heading mode... Let's go here. For some reason, it thinks we have to go backwards. So there's heading. Can the autopod work? The autopod can work. Look at that. All right, so autopod's working. So then from there, let's go ahead and let's give ourselves some vertical speed up. See if it will work. All right, we are climbing. So that's looking good. Alrighty, and let's make sure we don't crash into any mountains here, right? So let's start twisting this a little bit. And we'll keep coming down in this direction. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's make sure that we're going direct to our fix. Can I put it in here? Nope. Let's put it up here instead. Let's go direct. And we'll do P-A-J-N. We should be good to go here. P A J. This is something we probably should have done before we got in the airplane, right? N. Enter. Activate. Okay. We're going direct. Oh, see, I'm going to the wrong one. It's supposed to be P A W G. <laughs> That's the problem here. Let's try this again. P A W G. Duh. We just came for P A J N P A W G. W and A G. Enter. There we go. Wrangle Alaska. Activate. That looks correct. Okay. Now let's hit the nav button. And I forgot. It all does it, it all does work. However, Ah, uh, we're starting to get in some ice here, aren't we? However, I have to actually center up our uh, course needle. There you go. Course needle is set. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get ourselves our anti-icing on here. So, prop de-ice. Uh, wing inspection lights can also turn on. Extend intake deflector. 
the ice boots are slow. Then stab left and stab right, and everything should be on auto. So it's kind of up to us now to, uh, to take care. Now, we do have terrain guidance inside of our aircraft, so hopefully we don't crash into anything, but we're going to try to climb up as well here. Airplanes bouncing around here. Alright, so we're at 3,000. Let's see if we can't get our vertical speed a little bit higher here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, look at this ice that's appearing on our windshield here. I think we do have windshield de-ice, don't we? Uh, windshield heat is turning on. See all this stuff melt away. There's beautiful Alaska. All right, so trim is in motion. We're gonna make sure we hit some checklists now. Now that we're not so busy. Our climb checklist flaps are up. Let's make sure flaps are up. Auto feathers off. Climb power set. Landing lights can go off here. And then uh, a speed hold would be nice. I don't think we can do a speed hold, and that's okay. So what we should be able to do here is we should be able to give ourselves more vertical speed here. There we go. I see it moving up a little bit. There we go. Keep us climbing here a little bit faster now. That way we can get up to our altitude and level off from there all right how's our aircraft doing we're doing okay we can add just a little bit of thrust here as we keep climbing and we're on our way so this says we'll be there in about 50 minutes but uh, once we level off it'll uh, definitely be a lot faster than that But all right, I'll keep this going and we'll check back in at the top of the climb. So we're still making our way up, but uh, it's definitely taking its time. For some reason, I can't change our vertical speed to a higher setting. Uh, I'm sure it's something that I'm doing. I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point in time here. Uh, as for our aircraft, I mean, you know, we were heavy. We took off, you know, 200 pounds more than, uh, than what we were supposed to, and we're still performing just fine so it's more like a cruise climb right now let's see if we can't expand out so nav page ring here we go alrighty so we're still going down there 105 nautical miles to go 41 minutes is what it says. Nothing is fast in a Twin Otter, that's for sure. One to go. It's 
some nice big engines. I did see that they added the DC-3 as well. So, uh, yeah, the DC-3 is definitely going to be something we're going to have to uh, play with. Because I'm sure that it can carry quite a bit. All right, we're speeding up here. Let's see something about our prop here. Let's see if we can even them up here. Get a little bit better bite of air out. We'll keep our speed up as fast as we can because we are trying to make some money here. All righty. So we have approximately. How much time do we got? 26 minutes till we're there. And uh, I think we'll just sit back and enjoy the views, and I'll see y'all before we descend. We should be getting pretty close now to our destination. Realistically, we had like 20 minutes. Uh, now we're down to about 12. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to start our descent. So uh, they have a couple runways there. I think the uh, winds are favoring the northern uh, runways or landing north. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start descending down and we're going to get prepared here. So let's come on down. We'll see if we get down to about 5,000 feet. And uh, let's see if we can't give ourselves a vertical speed down. Oh, look at that. That's a heck of a vertical speed. All right, so we don't want that much of vertical speed. So let's increase this a little bit. Because, you know, we don't need to overspeed our aircraft. Now, there was light rain reported at the airfield. I do have real-world weather on, uh, and I checked on my weather app to see how, uh, how the weather is. Now, we are descending down here. I don't think there's going to be a ton of terrain in our way. There might be. I mean, there's a few mountains and stuff out here, but we'll kind of just go around if we have to, and we'll just stay into... the valley. So we'll bring it on down to 5,000 feet. See if we can't get a little bit closer. All 
All right, things are about to get icy again, so let's go ahead and let's turn on all of our stuff here. De-ice boots are on. Intake de-ice is on. Wing inspection lights, we'll turn those on. We'll extend that again. Wing inner, we'll, we'll stay on that, and then we'll go ahead and go to auto with the boots. Because we are going to be picking up some ice, and then we'll just have to keep uh, flip-flopping it here to the uh, inner and then the outer. All right, one to go. So what I'm going to do here is first of all give us some thrust as we're slowing way down. There we go. We leveled off. So I'm going to give us some thrust here. We're going to increase our speed again. And I'm going to start giving us a little bit of a right heading here just to keep us out of the uh, out of the mountains. We'll get us kind of going down this path. So let's go ahead and let's turn on a heading mode. And then we'll redirect ourselves once we get out of here to the airport. Again, I just want to make sure we don't hit any mountains. I don't think we will. But the closer we can uh, get to the center of this valley, or the water, the better. And then we'll redirect ourselves back to uh, PAWG here in a minute. So it says 10 minutes, so we're there. Let's see what kind of checklist we got left here. We do, well, we had a cruise checklist, and then descent checklist, fuel quantity, uh, we'll check. It looks like on the left side, uh, we're burning more than the right side, which is fine. Uh, caution lights appropriate? I'd say so, there aren't any. Anti-ice is on, cabin signs are set, and landing lights, we'll go ahead and turn those on since they want them on. All right, we are getting back out here into the middle. Then we'll go directly to the airport from here. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's uh, go direct. Enter. Can I activate it? Activate. All right, we're going back direct to it. Here's nav. We're navved up. And now we're turning back in. Beautiful. Now we're right on it. Looks like we overshot it a little bit. That's okay. Let's go ahead and set a uh, lower altitude here, about 3,000 feet. And let's bring her on down. It's going to be extreme again, and that's fine. Don't want to overstress the aircraft, that's for sure. All right, there's 3,000 feet. We're starting to level off here. So this cloud layer is decently thick. So we're just instrument flying right now. We know that we are eight minutes away. Hey, I got ground contacts. So that's good. Let's see if we can't come down to 2,000 feet. Everything should be pretty close to sea level here. There we go. So with everything being close to sea level, I have no problem descending down to 2,000 feet here in this valley. Should give us some more visibility, and hopefully I'll be able to see if there's any mountains in our way. Okay, six minutes till we're there. I don't see any icing. Let's go ahead and let's uh, go back. We'll just let it kind of do its thing there. Yeah, see, this is what I was worried about. I didn't want to necessarily be in the clouds if I could. And uh, we'll navigate around it as we get closer. Distance 16 miles. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent sized mountain over there. Put ourselves on a heading. And we got 14 miles. Definitely bumpy down here. Oh yeah, look where the snow stopped. 
So there was a bunch of snow happening. But it didn't get much further to the uh, southwest here. All right, so we're navigating around these just fine. Let's do this again. Activate that, and then we'll put ourselves back on a nav mode again. All right, so there's our nav mode. This is where it gets dangerous. Down your scud running beneath the clouds. If ATC was here, they'd obviously be giving us uh, vectors. If they have ATC. It looks like... They do. Alright, we'll be there in three minutes. Let's bring us down to about a thousand... Let's bring us down to 1500 feet. Now let's see if... If we can't get a little bit closer here. It's raining too, so that's great. Now the weather did say it was raining. There was some light rain going on. Alright, so this island ahead of us, I don't actually think it's it. Because if we look at this map here, we still have that island. Hey, there we go. I can see, I can finally see some lights. So that's nice. Perfect. And when we were able to zoom in, we could see the runways. So we want to land north. So we're going to swing around to runway 280. So that's as close to north as we can. Winds down there, we're like 320 at something. Got some windshield wipers. They don't sound, uh, <laughs> they don't sound the best. But we definitely do have some windshield wipers. I wonder what our outside air temperature is. Is this it? This is it right here. So right now we're at, okay, we're above freezing. So just slightly though. I'll probably leave the uh, anti-ice on. Oh, this looks like a crazy approach into here. I wonder if they have any approaches. Let's go here to menu. Uh, procedure. Can I select an approach? Uh, let's do this again. Enter. Probably have to choose an airport first. Maybe it doesn't have a procedure. Well, there's our airport right there. So let's go ahead, let's click off the autopilot. And then we're gonna start our left downwind here. And all this rain. Oh, don't wanna get too far in the bank here. There we go. All right, so this is a right downwind. I think I said left earlier. It's a right downwind. And uh, luckily, we're in a twin otter. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll keep slowing down. We know the airport's off to our uh, eh, about our 5 o'clock right now. So we'll keep coming down. It should be at sea level, so we're about 1,000 feet above it. And uh, it doesn't like that I'm coming down a little too quick. Keep trimming. All right. The only problem with making this uh, this right traffic here is that I can't see out my window. All right. Let's drop in our first notch of flaps. And we'll keep this turn coming. Don't want to slow down too much. All 
All right, that looks like it worked out pretty well. Oh yeah, this is the Alaskan weather that you love to see. All right, here's our runway. I don't think we'll need the windshield wipers. They said this was a light rain. Now we've got two whites, we are high. We'll keep it coming down nice and easy. A little bit of lag here, this is not the time. All right, we're doing fine. Correcting, correcting on the sink rate. There we go. Perfect. All righty, <laughs> we made it. Now we got to see where uh, where to pull off. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's a taxiway. Oh yeah, it's definitely dark and nasty out. Let's see, do they have a fuel pump somewhere? Ah, oh, there's a fuel truck. And what we'll do is we'll pull up here and we'll uh, let these guys park me. I don't think I can actually. It looks like there's an airplane over there. So we need to drop off the cargo. Let's pull over this way. And then we'll shut her all down and we'll unload our cargo and make our money. Oh, you know what? I might be able to squeeze in here. Ah, uh, no, I can't. Okay. We're going to park it right here. So that way we can get out of here as well. All right, so parking brake is set. And we have made it to our airport here. Look at us squatting down like that. All right, let's go through our checklist. So we need our, if I can shrink this down a little bit. We need our after landing checklist. Flaps are up. They are, let's turn off our anti-ice. All right, anti-ice is off. I don't know why this keeps happening. There we go, landing lights, we'll uh, go to off here with them. Landing lights are off, transponder, standby. All trim tabs, zero degrees. We'll leave it there in the takeout position. Anti-collision, off. So anti-collision is off. Shutdown checklist, parking brake is set. Power levers, flight idle, they are. Propeller levers feathered. Propellers are feathered. Should change some noise. They did. Generators off. Fuel levers off. And there is our propellers. Okay. Uh, fuel boost pumps off. Boost pumps are off. All lights go off from there. We'll leave on our lights because we're going to be flying again. Engines are shut down. DC and master off. Uh, off and off. Let's make sure... Control lock install, and then aircraft secure. All right, we got our control lock in here. 
Let's go. Let's open this up. Oh, yeah. We can hear the rain. Uh, maybe. There we go. And let's unload our aircraft. And there we have it. So that was flight number one. We got a couple more flights we got to do here, and we got to keep making some more money. All righty, guys. Well, until next time, thanks for hanging out, and I will see y'all next time. Take care.